Alright guys, we got another one here with our Insight and trying to show you how to use your quick serve online also along with Insight to help you uh, diagnose a little bit better. Um, let's just say you get into here, get into your Insight, connect to the truck, go in your fault codes. Let's just say there is a fault code. This one did have a fault code for the EGR. Um, so like I said, you'll take down the code, um, you'll click into it. And it'll tell you that there is a TSB out for it. Um, doing so then you would just get online, click on over, get into your quick serve online, log in, um, type in your, your serial number for the engine. Then you'll click up here on the service tab. Um, in the service tab here you can get all sorts of cool stuff in there. Um, as soon as it loads here. Um, click in that service tab it should bring up uh, everything on that unit um, bring it right up it'll tell you if anything was updated there in full cold troubleshooting manual that was updated recently but you'll go down here and you got your campaigns your data plate for your engine this is where you can get your manuals service manuals all that stuff search your full code symptom searches all that kind of stuff but then like I said you can click on your TRPs ATCs, service bulletins, um, TSBs, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, like I said, I had a TSB on this one, and I'll just show you. You'll get in there. You can search it um, or do whatever you know, you'd like to do it this way. I just knew where I was going with it and just kind of went with it. So I went down, clicked on the exhaust system, and uh, right here was my issue. Had the codes and uh, TSB for it. So like I said, you can click right on it. It'll load everything up, and uh, it'll pull all pull the whole service bulletin up for that issue. And you can go right on through, check everything that's in here for that. Um, it's pretty helpful. Helps you get in depth with it. Um, for anybody that's new with it, that's not real sure on how it's done. It's it's pretty pretty simple, pretty basic. It can help you out. As long as you got a fairly decent knowledge of what's going on with uh, with your engine, um, going through a, a service bulletin, kind of self-explanatory. Somebody that's never done it before might have some issues, but um, this quick serve online is a really helpful tool, something that you can get into. And uh, as long as you have the Insight program, you uh, just contact your uh, distributor that you got it from, and they should be able to help you get onto quick serve online because it is part of your um, Insight um, package. And then also, in this Quick Serve Online, um, on the far left here on the bottom, it does say training. You can get into that, and it does help you do training on your basic stuff. Um, you can do all the online classes, and there are some uh, in-class training that you can sign up for. Um, granted, the in-class ones, you know, you do have to pay for, unfortunately, but, uh, like I said, it does help you keep up on, uh, your skills and knowledge of what's going on with Cummins and everything else, and it's, for the most part, as long as you can pay attention to the videos online and take the tests, it is, uh, something you can learn, so I strongly suggest trying that out. Um, like I said, just wanted to give you a quick, uh, intro into how to look at them TSBs, and like I said, you can look them up, and... For the most part, um, when you do uh, click on your fault, when you're in the Insight program, it does have the TSB there, and you can go into it that way too and look into it. But this year's a little bit simpler, more in depth, and then there's a lot more in here that you can go through. And then, like I said, usually if there's anything in there for like a campaign or anything like that, that'll pop right up. A lot of the campaigns have to go sent in to the dealer. Usually it don't cost you nothing to have a campaign done. So like I said, it doesn't hurt to check that. And then like I said, always pay attention. See if you're up for any kind of a ECM update and go from there. And uh, one other thing, if for some reason you're working on a vehicle that uh, it is deleted, <laughs> make sure you do not update that ECM because you will piss off somebody really quick. Um, <laughs> I've had a guy that recently have done it. And uh, it's, it really pissed that driver off, then I had to go through and 
have all that shit redone and the ECM deleted again and it was just a fiasco. So, uh, <laughs> sucked to be that mechanic that day, but just pay attention to what you're doing. You guys will be fine. Uh, any other questions, comments, feel free to leave them in there and let me know and I can try and help you with whatever you need help on.